Convicted murderer who confessed to killing after his arrest in the 1990s is scheduled to be executed by lethal injection in about 30 minutes. Gary Ray Bowles has been on death row for a murder in Jacksonville Beach in November of 1994. New images now from downtown Jacksonville of death penalty protesters holding signs outside the courthouse. Bowles was also convicted of two other murders in northeast Florida and confessed to killing men in Georgia and Maryland. Evidence suggested he targeted gay men. News for Jack's anchor, Tarek Miner, is one of the designated witnesses to the execution. He is in stark with what's happening in the last hours of Bowles' life. Gary Ray Bowles' killing spree came to an end in 1994 when he was arrested for the murder of a Jacksonville Beach man named Walter Hinton. Bowles eventually confessed to the murders of five other men. Bowles will be executed here at Florida State Prison promptly at 6 o'clock. Gary Ray Bowles' killing spree came to an end in Jacksonville Beach in 1994 with the murder of Walter Hinton, a 47-year-old gay man who Bowles befriended and convinced to allow Bowles to move in with them. That was Bowles' method of operation, according to police. Bowles would meet men in gay bars and offer to do household chores and sex in exchange for a place to stay. When police walked 32-year-old Gary Ray Bowles to jail, it was the last leg of what police call a long, deadly journey. Police say Bowles has confessed to killings in Daytona, Hilliard, Savannah, Georgia, in Maryland, just north of the nation's capital, and also in Atlanta, Georgia. After Bowles' arrest in Jacksonville, police say he admitted to the murders of five other gay men. In every case, the victims had something like a towel or toilet paper crammed down their throats. All the murders were brutally violent. Police say Bowles is known for his M.O., which includes beating and bludgeoning his victims, strangling them, and shooting them. One of Bowles' victims was 37-year-old Albert Morris of Hilliard. His mom speaking with News for Jackson 1994 while Bowles was still on the run from police. He needs to be punished. And I think he needs to have his life taken just like he took all these other people's lives. But Bowles was able to stay one step ahead of police in each murder, leading to him being profiled five times on America's Most Wanted and added to the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list. Members of the gay community called for his execution shortly after he was taken into custody. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's the man that did it. Uh, and I got no sympathy for the guy at all. I'd pull the switch myself if I had the chance. Bowles told police he wanted the killings to stop. And that's why he confessed to killing a total of six men. According to prison officials, Bowles woke up this morning at 4 a.m. He was calm and he was in good spirits. He's requested as his last meal three cheeseburgers, french fries, and bacon. He's had no family visits and he has not had a spiritual advisor visit him either. I'm Tarek Miner, Channel 4, The Local Station.